control of your financial life now. I'll be your financial advisor at a price that won't break your budget. Tuesday, March 29th at the Intrepid Museum. But you must pre-register, so go to intrepidmuseum.org. Coming to CBS News Time 955, this market update sponsored by Danbury Hospital. Family Wall Street Journal. The Dow is up 128 points. The S&P up 16, the NASDAQ up 28. IBM and Apple, which both fell this week, both open higher today. IBM at 154, Apple at 337, but both are down about $20 or more from their recent highs. Inflation's becoming a problem, and unfortunately, it's not in wages or in rates for professional services either. It's in the cost of commodities. Kimberly Clark just said they're raising prices of diapers and paper products 5%, and a lot of delis have notices up saying coffee and sugar and wheat prices are all going up. The Wall Street Journal says more companies are asking employees to do videos for YouTube to sell the company's products because the employees are real and credible. As long as they look like the target customer and are about the target customer's age. And Governor Malloy told the WCBS Small Business Breakfast he wants to spend more on education and transportation, and he wants to also work at getting the high electricity prices in Connecticut down. But first, this spring, the state has to pass a new budget with tax increases and spending cuts. Once again, the Dow is up 128 points. For the Wall Street Journal on WCBS News Radio WCBS opening bell report from Thursday, March 17th. Check out the opening bell on demand at CBSNewYork.com. Traffic and weather in the WCBS News Time 957. How do you define a higher level of care? When it comes to maternity, Danbury Hospital delivers it every day. Listening to moms to be to help create personalized delivery plans for a higher level of wonder. Offering pre and post delivery educational and support programs for a higher level of confidence. One of only two hospitals in the state with a level 3D for a higher level of expertise. World for a higher level of comfort. 24 hour neonatology, perinatal and anesthesia support for a higher level of just in case. Gourmet meals prepared specially for new parents for a higher level of celebration. Rank in the nation's top 5% for overall maternity care. For a higher level of reassurance, learn how Danbury Hospital defines a higher level of care. Visit danburyhospital.org or call 1-800-210-1849. Danbury Hospital, a higher level of care. If you or someone you love suffers from mesothelioma or lung cancer, call the law firm of Levy Phillips and Konigsberg at 1-800-MESO-LAW. M-E-S-O-LAW. That's 1 800 MISO Law. WCBS News Time 958. Traffic and weather together, Chris Magenta. The parade, Lincoln Tunnel, you're going to get stuck in an accident on the uh, 495 Viaduct like eastbound, just past yes, Kennedy Boulevard, so it is heavy off of the eastern spur of the New Jersey Turnpike, and also heavy traffic coming off of eastbound Route 3. Uh, but very minor delays of the tolls itself with Lincoln. The Holland Tunnel is still about 15 to 20 minutes from the Turnpike approach, better from 1 to 9. And the inbound Jill Bridge doing a lot better now, about 5 or 10 minutes for the upper deck. That's about it. We also have a crash on the Major Deegan northbound side at 230th Street. Left lane blocked is also debris there. Alternate side parking rules in effect. And now here's meteorologist Craig Allen of CBS Pinpoint Weather. Becoming mostly sunny today, 58 to 62 degrees. Tonight's low will just be near 50 in the city, 40s in the suburbs. Tomorrow, it's a sunny cloud. It gets up to 65 to 70. And then Saturday starts with clouds and showers, followed by some clearing.
the red, white, and blue hanging from uh, sun-dappled buildings here in front of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Uh, they're beginning to gather in their top hats. The sashes of those who are officials in the parade uh, are being worn. The, uh, again, you see green ties and sweaters, shamrocks painted on cheeks, green tam shanters the green stripe is painted on Fifth Avenue. All is almost in readiness for the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Again, the 250th version of it. It started way back in 17...